Investors have their sights set on next week's bond auction where 225 billion naira will be on offer across three maturities. Traders at UBA say the short end of the curve remains the investor's favorite spot. And let's talk to one of those traders, Chuka Juan Chuku, head of fixed income trading at UBA, joins us now for more. Thank you so much, Chuka, for your time. And before we get to that bond auction and what to expect, I want to just get your thoughts on what we're seeing in the treasury bills market, where I hear that there's an expansion of demand that has seen yields fall to as low as 5.4% from about 11.7% for one maturity. Now, clearly that is significant. What's going on and what's the outlook? Okay, thank you, Wally. Um, what we saw at the um, last NTB auction on Wednesday is um, we saw a drop, uh, about 179 basis points drop um, on the longer end from 14.84 um, to 13.05, and that is significant. We've not seen that uh, much drop in a very long while. And so that followed up uh, the next day, um, the next trading day followed up uh, with that same drop. So we saw in the, in the primary, I mean the secondary market, we saw a drop of almost uh, two to 350 um, basis points um, on, the second, on the secondary market. Um, we saw the yields um, drop from um, 13.05 that it closed on the logger end to almost trading at about uh, 10%. And that's, that's quite huge. Now, um, I think it has to basically do with the liquidity in the system, um, people trying to run away from CRL debit. And so um, that uh, auction offered them a lot of opportunity to be able to um, you know, keep their funds and then um, not uh, debited at 0% um, by CBN. But do you see those yields rising again shortly? You mentioned that this is driven by liquidity, but is this very short-term liquidity or do you think that this could be a trend? No, no, it's a short-term liquidity, um, and also this uh, drop is a short-term drop. Um, I, I don't see this uh, drop uh, continue into January. Um, so, and again, we should also be mindful that uh, this is the end of the year. Um, a lot of uh, trading activity has slowed down. People are just uh, taking stock and then trying to ensure that they, uh, their book is well uh, kept and well clean. All right, let's move up now to the bond markets and the foreign currency bond markets conditions are clearly very difficult for Nigeria and as you begin to preview that bond auction I want to hear your thoughts about how you anticipate the Nigerian authorities will begin to strategically test the local bond markets do you think we're going to see for example a surge in issuance or do you think that one way or the other now that we're seeing a little more stability in oil production that we could see those yields fall in the international markets and then the government will simply go back there. Okay, yeah, um, let me just start by um, saying that uh, next week Monday is the bond auction. Um, so we have 225 billion on offer across a uh, three maturity of 2029, 20, 32 and then 37. And so the last auction came out, uh, the longer end came out at 16.2. Uh, um, the market has been trading within that uh, range. Now, I'll come to your question as regard um, what the Nigerian government will be looking to do. I think that this bond yield will remain um, uh, stable as long as the uh, in, um, inflation rate continue to go high. Uh, the yield will continue to go high. However, um, I believe that uh, by the end of um, election, hopefully by March, April, we see a reversal. Um, probably we see a downward trend on the um, on the youth, and that is because then, um, obviously, uh, the election would have been over, and all the tension and everything would have um, would have ended, and then we see investors uh, begin to come in. Um, yeah, on the issue of um, whether the Nigerian government is also looking to, um, in terms of the oil um, oil price, uh, I think that the the it is looking good for us, um, but again, you know, what's the need of us? Uh, um, uh, um, happy that uh, we have an um, oil price hike yet, you know, we are not producing enough. So we need to also tidy up our own end to ensure that, um, you know, these leakages and this oil theft thing is, um, is reduced to the barest minimum. That's the only way we can benefit from it. Well, certainly according to the NMPC, there is some progress there. We're, seeing, we're hearing that oil production is up to about, I believe, 1.5, 1.6 million barrels per day now. But 
Is that enough, in your view, to keep the Naira stable? Because clearly there has been a lot of volatility this year. Do you think that even if it's just for the short term, we can anticipate some stability in the Naira? Um, it's not enough, but it will make a significant impact. Um, the, you know, the factor um, regarding the Naira depreciation is not just only the fact that we are not producing enough or that we are not saving um, enough in terms of uh, oil production, but also there are other factors. Um, speculation is a factor, um, insecurity is a factor, um, inflation is also a factor. In fact, don't forget that most of the um, the exchange rate, it, most of the inflation we have has also to do with the exchange rate inflation. So I believe that um, once the election is over and then the oil price continue at this uh, upward movement, um, that will um, bring in a lot of investors confidence and we see some of these F FDIs coming and then of course that will complement what we are saving from the oil um, sector.